welcome back all of you nana here and then i am now going to begin a new batch on uh, online training on uh, fusion inventory and uh, product data hub you know going on how about it now <clears throat> so let me go on and have a look at it so here if you go on then uh, put on the url point oracle nana.com right, slash inv point so there is the url actually oracle nana.com slash inv is the url so if you go there, you'll now find my website actually. So this training is on Fusion Inventory as well as a Fusion Product Data Hub actually. So I'm both the models coupled together. And then the online training is starting at 13th of January, <coughs> 2024. So it starts at 6 p.m. India. Fine. It's for seven weeks, ends and beyond actually. <clears throat> so it's very economical actually. Fine. You won't find that. Uh, what happens? Uh, checking your purse actually. Fine. It can be really very useful. And then it will now teach you all the basics basically. Full basics of inventory and product data hub PDH model will be fully explained on this one. So you'll be finding a lot of stuff on this. One. You will now become an expert to implement them independently. Actually. And these are all the audiences for this training, actually. So who are in, already implementing it, they, can, they will find a lot of substances in this. Now fine. And then those who are implementing other modules also will find it very useful, actually. And then it is also suitable for uh, consultants which are from other ERP like JD Edwards, SAP, and they can very well compare it and then they can learn it also. And then uh, graduates with uh, no knowledge also is uh, suitable, actually, <clears throat> because everything is uh, taught in this training. And so what happens? Uh, we don't assume any prerequisites from the participants at all. Fine. Each and everything is going to be taught. And so if you know uh, the subject, it will be easy and fast for you to make a deep dive into it. Otherwise, also, you will be able to, if you follow my uh, teachings, it will not teach you each and everything. <clears throat> we'll not even uh, make a deep dive into every business process. So it's in fact very huge. And then uh, you have to practice all the concepts on weekdays. So then only what happens is you'll be able to complete every practices. Saturday and Sunday's classes must be completed between Monday to Friday. So that what happens, you'll be ready for the next Saturday actually. So I will now add you to the past students group in uh, Telegram. So there you can even interact with the past students group so that you will now get, if you're getting stuck, somebody will assist you, either me or some of my students will assist you actually. So if we really required, we can even uh, meet again on the same Zoom call. And then uh, there is a class zoom, classroom zoom, and then I will not try to address your issues. So you are having uh, what happens? Uh, people to assist you uh, in your journey of learning actually. So my students are sharing instances, and then I will now give it to you, so that uh, you will not be finding difficulty in uh, practicing it during the course actually. So the duration and time is what it starts on the uh, 13th of January 2024, <clears throat> and then on weekends only. And then uh, there are some family functions I have now find so that you will not be having uh, two weekend classes actually because I am leaving out. I am not in the uh, hometown actually. So the weekend is starting on 27th of Jan for two days and then the weekend starting on 17th of Feb for two days. No, fine. So these four days will be holidays for you. So you can very well uh, complete all the practices during this time actually. Fine. Unfortunate that what happens, I am unable to what happens, uh, lock it in because it's a very close family function actually. So I, I have to be there actually. So it is on Saturdays and Sundays and then it will be uh, extending for approximately seven weeks since, and then beyond also depending on the interactions actually. So it's on Indian Standard Time, 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. actually. So since I'm an old man, after every one hour, I will I need a coffee break actually. So I will now have a coffee and then I will now continue. Right? So we have three sessions in a day actually. Find this way it will work. So each and every session will be recorded and uploaded because you cannot what happens, listen and then uh, remember it. So it will all be uploaded to the Google Drive and then you can very well download it and do it. So you can make a payment to my UPI ID actually. <clears throat> it is a non-apps. And then uh, if you're uh, not having a UPI, there is a payment gateway through which what happens, you can even use uh, net banking and other things and then make a payment actually. So once when the payment is made, you send a screenshot to my WhatsApp ID so that uh, what happens, I will now register you and then I will now get a, give a, get a confirmation for you. So you can even also watch my YouTube channel. So if you go and then see the agenda here, it is now going to go and then what happens, I will now make it big now. So uh, this is not that clearly visible actually. So I will now open up my hard disk and then show it you know why. So I will know in the hard drive, I have the file now. Right? You can even uh, download this file actually. So this file can be downloaded and then you can download. So I will now fish inventory product data. I'm opening it up. So let me open up the worksheet actually. <clears throat> so once when I open up the worksheet, you will now find that what happens with control four. So we'll be creating a location and then we are going to work on the existing enterprise structure actually. And then locations, facility ships, everything will be created, patterns and then schedules and then inventory org will be created. We'll be tying it and then afterwards we'll not do the very basic minimal setup for the inventory. And then afterwards we will now create an item and then we'll now perform the transactions and then verify the stock actually. That is the beginning. 
Then afterwards, uh, the big uh, topic of inventory metal transfers will now begin now. So in this, I mean, we are going to see about the transaction source, transaction types, account alias transfers, sub transfers. The picking rules on moment request is a very big topic, fine. It will be handled, and then along with the moment request approvals also. Then ITD will be taught, fine. Then afterwards, we'll now go for interop transfers, direct mail transfers. So this many topics are there in the transfers actually, fine. Even though it is only a bullet point, it will be what happens, uh, uh, taught to you fully actually. Then the replenishment techniques come in. So the min-max setups for the sub level, for the moment request, where it will be shown. And then with the supplier sourcing, where it will be pushed into the purchasing, and then we'll now make a purchase order also. And then afterwards, what happens, we'll now have a sourcing in which we will now talk about the transfer orders. <clears throat> the transfer orders will be fully taught, actually. Then what happens, the min-max planning for sub sourcing with the transfer orders, fine. This also will be taught. And then inter sub transfer orders also will be taught. Actually. And the topics on the level And then afterwards, accuracy, fine. ABC analysis, cyclic counting, and physical inventory taught. And then we'll now learn some fundamentals actually. Fine. What is the item defining attribute? What is the status attribute? What are asset and expense items? Fine. All these uh, basic things will be taught. And then UM is a very tough topic, and that will be done. And apart from that, what happens? I will be doing the replenishment techniques, or after that, I will not teach you the costing also. So, how to perform the costing setups? And then uh, I will not teach you all the three costing methods, fine. The standard costing, the average costing, as well as the FIFO costing. Fine. Everything will be taught. That is not written over here, but uh, that will be taught over here. And then I will now give you the classroom records for purchasing accounting, actually, fine. Right? For the costing right? and the costing perspective, whatever the purchasing accounting is also very important. So that will be given to you, right? Fine. So you will now have a good idea about the costing, even though I'm not an expert on this, no, fine. I have a very minimal knowledge, but uh, you will now get a very good introduction into costing, actually, mm -hmm. right? So you'll have everything on this, no, fine. Apart from that, what happens, I will now give you the classroom records for enterprise structure creation. Even though I'm not going to cover the enterprise structure creation maintaining, I will now give you all the records. So you can watch those records and then create your own enterprise, actually. Fine. The whole enterprise can be created, actually. So if you go and then have a look at it, click on it. In this place, <coughs> if you go there, so I will now open up, I will now open up vision enterprise structure. I will now open up this one, click on it. So in this place, you'll be having an enterprise structure fine. You'll be creating your own ledger, your own chart of accounts, your own legal entity, your own business unit, and then your own master, and then your own child. So a complete structure will be uh, taught to you about how to create, but it will not be conducted in the class, actually. But uh, it will be, what happens, as a recorded session will be given to you so that you can very well work, work on it and then create your own structure. And if you're getting stuck, you can always contact me. And then uh, you can even put your doubts on the group. Actually, we'll be having a WhatsApp group. So you can put it. And then uh, we will be interacting with each other. Right? So it will be a lot of interactions will be available. Okay. Then afterwards, what happens if you go there, we'll now begin the product data hub. Okay, fine. So we'll now have a legal user created. And then the PIM roles are required. Fine. So these roles are required for what happens, uh, demonstrating the product data hub, actually. And then uh, we'll now do the very, very basic setups on this. Now. After having completed all the setups, fine. Go and then uh, what exactly is PIM will also be fully explained in this training, actually. <clears throat> then after we go down, <clears throat> and then after everything is now set now, fine. All the setups are completed for the PIM. Then we'll now go there, and then we'll now start to do the activity. Now, fine. First is the validation row. So we are going to begin with the validation row. How the validation row is going to work upon. So after the validation is completed, then afterwards we'll now go to the assignment row. And that is the second row. So it will be fully taught, actually. And then afterwards, the description concatenation. How you're going to concatenate the description that will be taught. So after these three things are completed, then what happens? We'll now go for approvals. Now, fine. NIR approval, fine. <clears throat> so approvals is going to be automatic now, fine. <clears throat> so with the automatic approval, we are going to begin now, fine. <clears throat> with the automatic approval, what happens? We'll now begin now, fine. They will now begin with the automatic approval, fine. So NIR stands for new item request. So whenever you are making a new item request, we'll now make an automatic approval. Then afterwards, what happens? We'll now go there. We'll now go into the definition phase, fine. That will now teach you a lot on this, no, fine. So definition phase. And then afterwards, what happens? You go there. So once the definition phase is completed, we'll now go there. And then we'll now see by how to do the approval. We have now seen the NIR automatic, new item request automatic. Now, what happens is using an approval group, how you're going to approve? Them? Fine, that will be taught. And then afterwards, what happens? You go there. You'll now see about the change orders, right? how you're making a change order, and then how it is going to impact on your, what happens, the PIM actually. Mm -hmm. So the change orders will be taught. So with this, what happens, we complete it. So I'm expecting what happens, the duration of what? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. A class mm -hmm. No, 10 minutes ago. Okay. <clears throat> so once when the, this approval is completed, what happens, it will be completed. So you will now have a rich experience of what inventory as well as a product data hub. So that will be giving you a lot of information for you. And then uh, it will be really very valuable because you are even learning the costing part also. Right? The costing, you are getting an introduction to costing to a very good extent actually. And all the 
three methods of costing, standard costing, average costing, as well as the FIFO costing are fully explained in the studying actually fine. So uh, I may not be able to complete on seven weeks because already we are having two weeks holidays in between actually. So it will be causing more than uh, two months actually, fine. that much of a time you have to uh, accommodate. And then uh, uh, the thing is what you have to <coughs> be here, no fine. So uh, if you go there, so in this place, what happens, you will be having uh, the timing, fine. The, you have to allocate this time, fine. Only on the weekends, basically, Saturday and Sunday, 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. So even if you miss the session, what happens, it will all be recorded and then be uploaded. So that you can very well, uh, what happens, uh, uh, walk through that and then uh, what happens, uh, practice them. <clears throat> so with this, what happens, even if you have any doubts, you can write to me, fine. It is nana.app60 at gmail.com, fine. There you can write to me and then I will not clarify you, fine nana.app60 at gmail.com. Otherwise, you can even send a WhatsApp message. Fine. That is the best method. No, fine. You send a WhatsApp message for any clarification. I will not clarify it also. So it is economical. It is not uh, very heavy, basically. Fine. So uh, this will be definitely be useful for many, you know, even for freshers also. What happens is very good, actually. They'll be able to learn everything a lot. And then even the advanced people will you know, find some value addition on this. No, fine. So let us know. Hope soon that what happens, they'll be joining the session. And then we are now beginning on what? The 13th of Jan, 2024. Right? So let us not meet soon there. Right? <clears throat> Bye for now. Right? <clears throat> Bye.